January 2nd and 3rd, Sunday and Monday. Shh, it's a new moon. The sun and the moon are in Capricorn. And the moon is conjunct Venus and Pluto and Capricorn. It's a lot of Capricorn. And here's the deal. On January 2nd, on Sunday, Mercury enters Aquarius. We never talk about this. Mercury is exalted in Aquarius. What is Mercury but the way that we think? And it's in the most comfortable sign it could possibly be in, which is Aquarius. Why is it exalted there? Because the mind in the sign of the futurist is the right use of the mind, not getting stuck in the here and now. So here we are, just finished New Year's Eve, and we're looking into the future, and Mercury's supporting us. And the sun and moon are in Capricorn saying, thank you, New Year's Eve. It's worthy on Sunday, Monday to feel spent, to want to take a time out, and to really go in. And when there's five, count them, five planets in Earth, and we're walking straight into a new year with Mercury future pacing, I'm going to ask you, do you have any dreams? A great thing to do on Sunday, just finished New Year's Eve or getting ready to get back to work, pull out a dream board and ask yourself, I'm going to start future pacing. This is what Mercury in Aquarius does. What could I set up for my future that will set me in motion for a dreamscape? So maybe I want to move next year, better known as this year. We're in 2022. I love the sound of it. 122022 is Sunday. What can I prepare for the future? Is it a move? Is it a diet? We always do these resolutions. Am I going to start working out? And then you make the commitment. And with Mercury and Aquarius, you future pace. This is what I do a lot. And I think, how will I be different if I did that? So I'll look at my calendar and I'll go into the future and I'll prepare myself by sending out the seeds of the future. That's how you create it, said the astrologer. You see ahead, you work backwards by starting that now. So if the New Year resolution already slipped away, Monday you woke up going, I feel moody. Because when there's a double sun and moon, when they're hanging out together, it's a dark moon. It's always time to do a prayer. May I find my discipline, said double Capricorn. May I be motivated to go to work. May I go to work Monday morning feeling really committed because I'm starting anew and I'm making a concrete decision, said double Capricorn with Mercury and Aquarius, to set myself up for success. Or at worst, Capricorn's like, I have to go to work again. I don't like my job. Capricorn's worst trait is they complain. Capricorn's best trait is they have discipline and they tell their mind, Mercury and Aquarius, stop it. With Moon, Venus, and Pluto and Capricorn, there's so many planets in Capricorn, five in Earth, you do not want to argue. There we have it. The Moon, Venus, and Pluto, and the Sun, all in Capricorn. And Uranus, that's the fifth one. I happen to love Earth. I've learned how to love my work, and I've taken out the complainer. It took me years. Maybe that's your New Year's resolution. You want to have a helpful, runful start by Deborah Silverman? Stop complaining about your job. Get up Monday morning and say, I'm making a commitment starting now. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, you can take this new moon, do a prayer, honor all that Capricorn, and say, everything changed in 2022. I'll meet you there.